Disclaimer on. This video is pure for education purpose only. Please do your own research. Hi everyone, come back with us on the PuCoin Research Channel. This time we will analyze the Kiku Inu token. Is this legit or scam? Check this out. Kiku Inu is the cousin of Shiba Inu and Floki Inu's best friend. That's what it says on their website. This token running on the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. Maximum supply is, 1 quadrillion token. Currently only available on PancakeSwap. This token was created 5 days ago, this is newborn token. Kiku Inu is just a token meme, but they claim, it's a community driven token. Is it true? Later we will check more deeply in the analysis holder segment. This project has an anti-whale mechanism, the maximum transaction is 1%, and 2% the maximum number of coins in one wallet. Here they use the instant staking method, that means, you don't need to do manual staking to get rewards. From their many planning roadmaps, perhaps the most important one to wait for is the DApps project, KikuSwap. This is their white paper, there are only 3 pages, and little information about this token. Wow, since it was released 5 days ago, the price of this token has been pumped hard immediately to 98,000%, very crazy. After that, the price of this token crashes to 52.5%. Swap Analysis Swap analysis results. There is no indication of a honeypot for now, but no guarantee for the future. Because the contract is not renounced, developers can change the contents of the smart contract including disable selling. Buy and sell tax is high, 14%. 2% reflection for holder, 4% for liquidity, 6% for marketing, and 2% for team and development. The holder analysis. There is no information about the distribution of the tokens in their white paper. Is this really a community driven token? Let's prove it. There were four major transactions at the beginning of this token deployment. From the initial wallet is sent all tokens to this wallet. And then 96% of the total supply is sent to PancakeSwap for liquidity. This is worthy of being called a community driven token. Current holder, 2400. Currently, there is only 8.2% supply left in PancakeSwap. That means, 87% of total supply are already owned by the community. The top holder only has 2.1% of the total supply. That's the maximum limit each wallet can have. The owner's wallet only has 0.8% supply. It's far below the top holder. Holder analysis results. For now. I make sure that there will not be a single wallet that has a token supply of more than 2%. But because the contract is not renounced, the developer can change the contents of the smart contract at any time, including changing the maximum transaction and maximum supply for each wallet. The last, liquidity analysis. Current market cap, $940,000. Availability of liquidity, 155 BNB. Liquidity Tax Wallet, currently has 10% of total liquidity. It should have started to be locked by the developer. 89.4% of the total liquidity is in this wallet and it is locked. Let's check, how long have they been locked up? There are three phases of locking, let me explain. The first phase, it's locked for about 3 months. Second phase, it's only locked for 19 days. The third phase, with the largest amount of liquidity, it is only locked for a month. These three phases of locking, none of them have been locked for more than 6 months. That's not good. Liquidity analysis results. Liquidity availability, it's safe. Lock liquidity, it is not safe, although 89% liquidity is locked, but it is locked less than 4 months. And the last, the wallet containing 10% liquidity tax, it should be locked immediately, at least 1 year. For now, 
the Kiku Inu token has not been registered on market cap off, so the price cannot be predicted. Alright. My conclusion. There are three pros and one cons to this project. The pros. Community driven token, anti-whale mechanism and there are rewards for holders. And, the cons. Maybe this is a big mistake, liquidity is only locked for less than 3 months. I hope, in the second phase of the lockdown which will end in 19 days, it should be locked for at least 1 year. That is my personal analysis of the Kiku Inu token. The analysis I use is based on blockchain transaction data. If you have any requests and questions, comment below. See you on next analysis, goodbye.